فأما من طغى وآثر الحياة الدنيا فإن الجحيم هي المأوى وأما من خاف مقام ربه ونهى النفس عن الهوى فإن الجنة هي المأوى تقال العسار العظام به ويعود الهوى ككبش ذبيح بذكر All of the traps of the shaitan, they come down to these two things. Either they come down to desires and oppression, or they come down to ignorance and misguidance. That's all of the traps of the shaitan come down to these two things. So what do we use to combat each one? As for the issue of desires and self-oppression, we combat this by patience in obedience to Allah and patience in avoiding sin. So we do our best to prohibit our souls from following those things that they crave that are haram. And that's why Allah Azza wa Jal says, mentions, وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ وَنَهَا النَّفْسَ عَنِ الْهَوَى As for the one who fears what is going, he fears standing before his Lord, and he forbids his soul from its desires. He forbids its soul from the haram that it wants. The nature of your soul that Allah created you with is that it wants to incline itself towards evil. <inaudible> the soul is constantly inclining, moving itself towards evil. You have to rope it in and pull it back. One of the mashayikh, he once said to me, the soul of a man is like a camel. This is what he said to me. And I said, Sheikh, I have no idea what a camel is like, so you're going to have to explain this to me. So he said, look, it's this simple. The first time you ask a camel to sit for you, it takes all of your strength and you physically have to drag it down to the ground and hold it there. Once it sat for you once, it'll sit for you anytime. And your soul is like this. So the first time you have to get your soul away from something that it craves, let's say you're addicted to a kind of a drug, or you're addicted to something haram, or you're in a haram relationship, and it's a kind of an addiction, your soul is finding some kind of peace and some kind of, your soul is finding some kind of happiness from it. The first time you pull yourself away from that, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be like dragging the camel to the ground. It's very, very physically demanding, it's very hard. But once you've got your soul used to it, your soul will behave, just like the camel will behave. A Couple of times you have to drag it to the ground and then it'll behave itself. Your soul is the same. The f a few times you have to drag your soul to the ground and force it to obey you and then after that it will behave itself. So this is an example of how we combat desires and we combat self-oppression. How do we combat ignorance and misguided notions and false beliefs that are spread amongst the people? We combat these by getting knowledge in Islam. So we can summarize our method against the shaitan, against the traps of the shaitan, that we get knowledge and we act upon it and we call others to it and we are patient as a result to, of what happens to us when we do so. We are patient in doing good deeds and patient in keeping away from evil deeds and patient upon what befalls us from the qadr and the qada of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we do that. <laughs> سيف الهم تراه استل سيف الهم تراه استل